Halos lahat napanood nila yung uh, teacher na who was angrily scolding yung kanilang uh, classroom students dahil siguro na merong misbehavior. Naging viral ito kasi ang uh, teacher na galit na galit ay gumamit ng mga words such as ugaling squatter, uh, mentality, ingrato. Walang mararating sa buhay, wala kayong lugar sa mundo. At sabi pa niya, eh, hindi ako nakapasa sa board examination na para lang sa inyo. Uh, ang kakapal ng mukha niyo. So, the teacher was referring to students who were supposedly misbehaving in class. So because of this, uh, binigyan nito ng show cause order ng uh, Department of Education uh, para mag-explain within 72 hours. Kasi ang Department of Education ay merong social media guidelines. At ito ay embodied dun sa Department Order Number no. 49. At uh, sinasabi dito na Uh, although ayaw nilang i-curtail yung freedom, yung right ng mga tao, yung mga teacher na mag-engage sa social media, eh dapat uh, tone down, dapat may discipline yung pagpo-post sa media. And uh, of course, uh, really, yung mga pinagsasabi ni uh, teacher sa viral media, may make her liable for criminal action kasama ito sa Republic Act uh, 7610 yung ating uh, uh, child protection law and this could even be cruelty as defined uh, under the family code doon sa ating youth and welfare code and uh, unfortunately uh, after evaluation by the Department of uh, Education eh, hindi nila sinanction although she was warned but there were no sanctions imposed doon sa maestra at uh, in fact ang sabi ng Secretary of Education eh, dapat intindihin natin yung uh, teacher dahil uh, medyo malikot at uh, medyo loko yung kanyang estudyante at uh, in-advising yung teacher na medyo anger management, itone down niya yung pagkagalit niya pag uh, nagmi-misbehave ang mga estudyante. But anyway, from the criminal point of view, that teacher can still be liable for violation of the child protection laws uh, punishable by 7610 and the family code.